Hello and welcome to the video tutorial on Building Switchboard with EcoStructure PowerBuild Rhapsody. EcoStructure PowerBuild Rhapsody is a perfect switchboard aid design software. Discover how quick an optimum switchboard design is built with EcoStructure PowerBuild Rhapsody. All you need to do is check if the list of devices are drawn for the switchboard. Electrical connections have been defined between them, and then start building the switchboard design. This video gives an insight on how to install products using automatic design, the basics of Workbench, install products using step by step design, create and choose pre saved configurations, and use drawing tools. The installation of devices in the switchboard can be done using Automatic Guided Design Approach and Step-by-Step -step Guided Design Approach. Before we get into these details, let's take a quick view of Design Mode and Front View subtabs. When Aided Design Mode is selected, EcoStructure PowerBuild Rhapsody offers a choice of wall-mounted and floor-standing enclosures suitable to mount products. From the Design Mode subtap, choose the solution as per the requirement and software automatically mounts component. EcoStructure PowerBuild Rhapsody determines assembly and connection accessories, installs them in the chosen enclosure and displays the result in the graphic area of the front view subtab. Complete the switchboard by installing additional products, closing empty spaces by plain front plates or by adding panels, legends and dimensions. Automatic design is a quick approach to install products within the switchboard. Just choose the current design mode as Aided Design and then click Validate Design Mode. EcoStructure PowerBuild Rhapsody generates the search results. It offers a choice of enclosures suitable to mount the products. To extend the search to other ranges, select the box Switch to All Ranges and then validate the design mode. Here are the search results with multiple options for the enclosures suitable to mount the products from the product list. The bottom section displays the switchboard characteristics and proposal characteristics. To view more details, click the More Info button. Choose the switchboard solution and then click Automatic Switchboard Design. EcoStructure PowerBuild Rhapsody determines assembly and connection accessories installs products in the chosen enclosure and displays the results in the front view subtab. Let's understand some basics of Workbench. The Workbench section presents the products that are not yet installed. Products are divided into different sections and are represented by icons. Let's view an example. The Devices section contains the devices and device groups not mounted on installation systems. The Terminals section contains the connection terminals. The Mounted Devices contains devices or device groups mounted on these installation systems. Accessories will not be mounted in this section. The Enclosures section contains the wall mounted and floor standing enclosures and the ducts. The Distribution Block section contains bus bars and distribution blocks not included in a device group or attached to an installation system. The Accessories section contains the accessories, which have no graphic representation and do not appear in the switchboard drawing. Now that you are familiar with Workbench Basics, let's install products using a step-by-step -step design approach. Access the Design Mode tab and click the Step-by-Step -step Design option. EcoStructure PowerBuild Rhapsody will show the Front View tab, where the Step-by-Step -step Design Tools floating menu appears. Use this menu to carry out the various switchboard assembly steps. Begin by selecting the Mount Devices option. Next, select Switchboard Architecture. Choose the Mounting Support option. It shows the Switchboard Design Possibilities window. 
Here are the options to mount switchboard devices. Note that these solutions are as per the electrical characteristics of the switchboard and its devices. Next, select the suitable solution. Observe that the enclosure is added to the products list in the workbench. Now, choose Install Enclosures from the menu. The enclosure appears in the graphic area. Select Install Functional Units and Terminals. The software determines the assembly and connection accessories and installs products in the enclosure. The devices in the switchboard are placed in the order defined in the Electrical Organization tab. Devices are arranged based on the assembly parameters and connection parameters that are chosen. The graphic area shows the switchboard front face. You can also revert back to the last set of changes made in the front view tab by the user. The graphic area displays how various switchboard components are assembled and in which view the front view drawing appears. For instance, this shows the doors view, front plates view, the devices view, the mounting plates view, and enclosures view. Note that only one page is displayed at a time. However, you can switch between the pages. The Selection Properties section lists the characteristics of products selected in the front view drawing or in the workbench. Let's view how to create and choose pre-saved configurations. A pre-saved configuration is a configuration that can be saved for future use, either in the same project or in a different one. One can import or export these pre-saved configurations and reuse in other projects. A pre-saved configuration can be created from the workbench or from the graphic area of the front view tab. You can also select a pre-saved configuration that has been created earlier. Here, we will select the pre-saved configuration, choose the assembly and then click Add. The selected assembly appears in the graphic area. Let's view how to create and choose pre-saved configurations. The graphic tool palette allows you to complete the front view drawing. Use these tools to modify objects. For instance, you can modify the door or device orientation. This section of the graphic palette allows you to draw geometrical shapes such as circles, rectangles, Polygons. Use these tools to annotate the drawing. You can add legend text and dimensions. You can even change the object formatting and sheet model with these drawing tools. This concludes the video on Building Switchboard with EcoStructure Power Build Rhapsody. In this video, we saw how to install products using automatic design, the basics of Workbench. Install products using a step-by-step -step design. Create and choose pre-saved configurations. And use drawing tools.